Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I have an unboxing or an unbagging, I guess you would call it. I love when Amazon packages show up. Amazon is like my happiest place on earth. You know, most people wanna go to like um, Walt Disney World. Just let me go to Amazon. I mean, could I just go to Amazon and like get a shopping cart and like put all the things in my shopping cart in it, like the real Amazon, like, you know? That would just be the happiest place on earth. Okay, so I am trying to open this up. I don't want to tear anything. This is a diamond painting. I do know what it is. I'm excited to show you guys because I mentioned this. I cannot get this open. What is the deal? Um, I mentioned this particular diamond painting in a recent video. So I'm excited to show you guys this one. I am so excited. Uh, hold on just a second. Let me find where it opens up at. Um, sometimes these are hard to find where the like little sleevey part is. You know what I mean? Maybe it's up here at the top. Oh, there we go. I found it. So I hope you guys are having a great day today. We are having a good day around here. Okay. Plastic wrap is gone. Open this up. I can't wait for you guys to see this. You probably already know what it is. Body colors. Sorry, Jolie is over here trying to whack the dog with a fly swatter. She is so mean, you guys. Everybody's like, oh, she's so sweet. Uh, really? She is meaner than a rattlesnake. Just saying. Okay, so I've got it rolled up for just a second. Here is the toolkit that it comes with. It comes with a heat pin with a single placer, a couple little plates of wax, some baggies, and a green boat with no funnel. And then we have our drills pretty drills and these are bagged up already nice this is a round diamond painting love that it's already pre-bagged it's already kitted up for me okay now let's take a look at this look at that oh my gosh I am so in love with this so I'm a huge Grinch fan like the old original classic and of course the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch. I just love it. So Jolie, my baby, she's a year old and we always call her because her name is Jolie May. And I always call her Jolie May Huvier or Jolie May Who. And like Cindy Lou Who or whatever her name is on the movie. But yeah, and then we always call her Jolie May Huvier. So funny. Okay. So anyway, this is a 35 by 45. Uh, the brand that this came from is not listed on the canvas. Uh, let me see if it's on the bag. Mm, not seeing anything. Um, or on the packaging. I don't think there was anything listed on the packaging. So I'll be sure to insert an image here somewhere. Um with the information of where this came from. But it has a legend just here on this one side. It has 17 colors here. And they are letters and numbers. So that's <laughs> awesome. Jolie thinks that's funny too. But I love it. It's simple. And so because it's so simple and a larger size, for the amount of detail that's in it, this is going to turn out really, really good. I think. I think it's super cute. Um, I can't wait to do this one. So, um, these are, like I said, pre-bagged. But let's kind of take a gander at a couple of the drills. I'm not going to pull them all out just because, meh. So here's a big bag of 13. Oh yeah, these do have DMCs here on the side. That's awesome. Um, 
You can see here it's listed with the DMC. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, these look to be pretty good quality drills. I uh, see a few little kind of knobbly bits on the sides or like um, I don't see any dimpling or concave things. Let's see a smaller, brighter color here. Uh, we'll look at this red. So you can see it's, this is number DMC 608, kind of an orangey red. You can kind of see the quality. These are pretty good drills. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited that it comes pre-kitted up. Yes. So there's very, very little of some of these colors like here. This number, number one, which is 151. There's very few of these, like just a quick glance on the canvas. The only pink that I see is just right here in this look, little um, section of the ornament. But yeah, I like it a lot. I just love the image because it was so simple. Um, Obviously, it has a lot of color blocking, but the biggest reason why I liked it is because, I mean, you know the part in the movie where the Grinch takes the last, even the last little ornament off the tree, and it's broken, and he still took it, you know? I just think that's so funny. But I like it. So, this one is a fun one for sure. Um, it looks like the symbols are very clear um, for the most part. You can see here... Lots of color blocking, which I'm going to enjoy. That means it's going to go by quick. It'll be a quick finish. But the symbols are very clear. The canvas material is the, like, hard kind, you know. But, meh, that don't really bother me. Um, let's see here how sticky. Okay, it's really sticky. It is port glue. The plastic is a thinner kind of, you know, uh, let me try to straighten, flatten this out a little bit more. Um, it's not a thicker plastic cover. It's not bad, I've had a lot worse. It's not as flimsy as some of the others that I've had. So that's good. I like that a lot. Let's try to flatten this out the best I can. That time kind of helps to get the um, um, lines out, creases out a little bit. I'll probably lay this under. I have a stack of diamond paintings right now that I have finished that are completed. And they're on a table in my bedroom um, that I just have laying flat. And I'm going to probably lay this one underneath those. Because once they're the completed ones, you know, once you have all the drills on them, they're a little bit heavy. So, because they're a little bit heavy, they can kind of help flatten these out some. Um, it's no, there's no wrinkles or creases or anything like that. There's just these, like, fold lines, which you can see. Like, back here on the back of the canvas, you can see these fold lines. They're not terrible. Those will be okay. Um... And if you have an iron, you can always iron the back of it just to kind of get it to flatten out. Just make sure that you uh, check out instructions on how to do that because you don't want to mess your canvas up. Um, I also heard, I think it was Stitcherista had posted or said something about using a heating pad. Um, about using a heating pad to uh, get the creases and stuff out of your canvases. That's a pretty cool trick. Or she said something also about using like a wrinkle releaser type spray so I don't know um, I have to give those a try and see how that works out but I have a heating pad in my bedroom so anyway um, that is what I have for you today so I hope you enjoy if you like the Grinch I'm gonna link this canvas um, in the description box below 
It was from Amazon Prime. And um, I'm thinking, I can't remember what I gave for it. I think it was like 10, 11, 12 dollars, somewhere around in that neighborhood. But anyway, I'll be sure to link the put the link in the description box. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer those as quick as I can. Um, but that's what I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get all of the uh, uploads. Oopsie. Get all of the notifications whenever I upload a new video. So I have things falling all around me, guys. I need to go take care of my uh, messy desking, desk and crafting area. I have like stuff. Yeah, she just thinks that's so funny. So, all right, you guys be safe and have a great rest of the day. I'll talk to y'all soon.